Hey everyone, Zanecraft here, and um, today is on a more serious note of a video, but um, also pretty exciting news. Um, because today, as you can see right here, oh shoot, um, I just got vaccinated. This is, uh, and the wristband too, I just got vaccinated for COVID-19. Um, so yeah, it finally happened. Um, uh, children can now get the vaccine. Um, I believe it is like 12 and up or maybe like 10. I don't remember, but I got the vaccine just, uh, currently probably now an hour ago. I'm not positive when I got it. Probably not an hour ago. It was probably like maybe 30 minutes ago. But anyways, I just, yeah, I just got the vaccine and um, I'm just sort of going to talk about um, it and kind of my thoughts about um, just like everything that's led up in the past 12, uh, last 14 months to this point. So I guess let's begin. So how do I feel currently? I feel fine and I don't believe like there is going to be any issues. Um, because my dad and mom got fully vaccinated and they were completely fine. And, um, the only thing that my mom and dad seemed to notice was a pain you get in the arm after getting vaccinated, which is kind of normal with every single vaccine you can get, like, like a flu shot or, uh, or measles or, or like, um, a lot of, shots you get a pain in your arm um afterwards regardless basically so yeah and i've started to notice that pain and um my mom says it's gonna rapidly build up and by the time i head to bed which is gonna be like in uh five or so hours um it, it's gonna be pretty pretty painful not the most pain like i feel like i'm breaking my arm or anything but it's, yeah, it's, it's sort of like a pulsating pain or just like a squeeze. So, um, yeah. So I feel, I feel really fine. I feel, um, I don't feel any changes and nobody should after like 30 minutes of the vaccine. But, um, something I feel inside me though is relief. It has been officially, actually on this day, the 13th, it has been officially a year and two months since COVID has began. And just thinking that the whole year and two months led up all to this, all, all of everyone uh, quarantining, me quarantining, um, having to wear masks, having, uh, you know, me moving and everything and and just like everything I've gone through in the past year and two months finally leads up to these moments and I finally get that shot, I feel really, really good. I feel really happy right now that I'm going to be one of the first, uh, I'm gonna be safe soon, safe. Now you gotta get two shots, of course. You don't get fully vaccinated just with one shot. So um, I'm gonna go get my second vaccine shot on the 2nd of June. Um, so yeah, it's it's just like, um, this is my first one. And it's just, it's just like, I feel relief right now since it's the first one and the first one could also um, stop um, sim could also stop you from getting COVID, uh, but I still need the second one. So I guess you can say it's a mix of relief and a mix of knowing that I'm almost there, if you get what I mean. Um, now though, I get that a lot of people do not want the vaccine and uh, there's a lot of conspiracy theories about microchips and, and um, what else is there? Uh, that it would just make you, or just like the government tracking you, or just like anti-vaccine in general. Um, personally, that is not true. 
Well, not personally. It's actually been confirmed multiple times that that is not absurd and not true at all. But um, I know it's personally not true because um, my dad, my dad would probably be probably um, pick up something on his phone. Probably everyone would, just like some sort of device. I think I think that's how it would work, maybe. But um, yeah, I don't know why the government would do that. And plus, the whole thing about COVID not being real doesn't make any sense because it's literally all around the countries or all around the world. So it's not specifically America. So I'm sick of those theories and um, everything. So do I recommend getting the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes. And if you don't get it, I don't think we can ever be free of masks. And that's why it sucks that a lot of this stuff has been led to a political standpoint. So like one side is going to get the vaccine, another one is gonna think it sucks. So COVID-19 is gonna keep going around that one group that won't get the vaccine. And it's either like, we're gonna have to wear masks for a long, long time, including the people who got fully vaccinated, or, or like just like those people, um, I'll just keep spreading it to other people who maybe even um, can't get to a clinic, like the homeless. So, I highly, highly recommend that you get the COVID nineteen vaccine. It is now of if you are a teenager out there, and I know a lot of teenagers watch my videos. You can go get it currently. So I highly, highly recommend that you go get to, that you go get the vaccine. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, um, that was just a quick update with me. Uh, currently, right now, um, I'm getting very close on releasing a bunch of projects. I believe that I might release a skit later today. It just needs a little bit more uh, finalizing. So yeah, and then uh, the Curse of 2170 is probably going to release next week or the week after, which I'm really excited about and everything. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you, I hope you uh, enjoyed this talk and I hope all of you guys go get the vaccine so we can go back to uh, normalcy once everyone is fully vaccinated. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.